Simply put, hit-and-run incidents occur when a driver strikes another vehicle while operating a vehicle and then leaves the scene. A driver has both a civil and criminal obligation to report a vehicle-related traffic accident. Sanjeev Nanda Case The first movie, Arshad Warsi, Boman Irani and Amrita Rao feature in the Subhash Kapoor-directed film Jolly LLB. This film's hit-and-run scenario was initially motivated by the 1999 Sanjeev Nanda case. It honors the ordinary man's ethos of pursuing justice and fairness in the best possible way. Although the movie has its share of laugh-out-loud humorous moments, it also contains an enraged indictment of the system that is so readily manipulated by the wealthy and so challenging for the underprivileged to infiltrate. Manathan Next in line is a Tamil movie called Manathan. Five people are killed in the tragedy, which also injured one other man on the platform, and it involves a land cruiser. The son of a famous person does it. The fact that the judge and the leading attorney in the film are buddies is in his favor. A prominent Supreme Court attorney and his team support the person who caused the accident and argue for his acquittal. The lone injured victim who survived the incident and witnessed the deaths of his family is kidnapped and kept concealed in the police station, but he is eventually located and brought before the judge. The driver of the offender falsely claims to have caused an accident, although he denies causing the identical accident in the film. He claims that because he disregarded video evidence that the Land Cruiser had been damaged as a result of the accident, he had caused a second accident in which no one was hurt. But ultimately, the High Court in the film finds the offender guilty. Creep Show. Following this, we will now talk about an anthology. Michael Gornick is the sole director of a feature picture, and Creep Show 2 is his only work in this capacity. The main animated segment in this anthology has a boy on a bicycle running away from bullies. The Creep, a magazine delivery man, is telling three distinct stories from the back of his delivery vehicle as this is going on. In the first, an Indian statue made of wood comes to life to exact retribution on bad guys. The second involves a huge, unknown blob-like creature that floats in a lake and devours unwary swimmers. The final story concerns an unfaithful woman whose hit-and-run victim simply refuses to pass away. The most straightforward section is the last one, The Hitchhiker. It involves a woman driving her car over a homeless man several times. This description might not make it sound funny, but the fact that the wounded man keeps turning up no matter what she does to him makes it the funniest of the set of shorts. This short by Lois Chillis is excellent, although it eventually becomes monotonous. Highwaymen Next is a movie called Highwaymen. As a hit-and-run serial killer named Fargo, James Cray watched as his wife was murdered. James is now desperate to exact revenge for his wife's passing after badly hurting Fargo and spending several years in prison. In search of Fargo's 1972 Cadillac Eldorado, which the now disabled killer has turned into a mobile death trap, he travels across the nation. A state traffic cop and a singer with a personal motive assist James in his search. Oasis The next movie we will be talking about is Oasis. Hong John Du gets freed from prison after serving time for killing a man in a hit-and-run vehicle accident but he has no money and nowhere to go. He encounters Han Gongju, his victim's adult daughter, while attempting to make apologies. Due to cerebral palsy, she is confined to a wheelchair, and her cold-hearted family has all but abandoned her in a modest apartment. The irrationally impetuous Zhang Du is drawn to the natural tenderness of Gongju, and the two start a shaky romance. Freddie Gale waiting for John Booth The next movie speaks about a despicable jeweler named Freddie Gale, who has vowed to kill the drunk driver who killed his daughter. Freddie Gale has been waiting six years for John Booth, the driver who killed his daughter in a hit-and-run, to be let out of jail. Gale visits Booth on the day of his parole and tells him that he will kill him in a week. With the help of some romance, Booth spends his free time attempting to create harmony with himself and his group. Gale will push himself to the brink of insanity because of his fixation with Booth, which is sending his life into a downward spiral. Both guys will find themselves on a collision path with one another before the conclusion of the week. 21 Grams Last but not least is 21 Grams. The storied movie is about the effects of a terrible hit-and-run accident. Watts portrays a grieving mother. Del Toro plays a born-again Christian ex-convict whose faith is severely tested in the wake of the accident. And Penn plays a terminally ill mathematician. The past, present, and future story strands for each of the three major characters are depicted as non-linear segments that accentuate key moments in the larger narrative. As the plot develops, these threads converge and become one for each character. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more videos just like this. And 
We'll see you guys next time.